Hey everyone, how are you doing? We have made it to day nine. If you're watching this, we have posted nine consecutive videos every single day and shown you exactly what happens in a day. Yesterday might have seemed like a not so busy day. However, under the keel, I was working a lot with epoxy, so I couldn't grab the camera much and it kept turning on. It kept turning off. Turning on would be pretty cool. So uh, I couldn't just grab it with those epoxy fingers. Same here with the deck. This is all cured now, it's super hot, so everything cures very, very fast and very nicely. Our hands are so black and filthy, and we just couldn't get this camera filming. Either way, both of the sides of the deck are completely corked, including the bow, and also the corking compound has been placed on top of it. I don't know if you can hear, but Mita is hammering some corking cotton between the last plank and the keel for us to shut that. When that's done, I think we can practically make sure we do a double check on everything, make sure we have all the three holes and we can move over to the crib already. Yesterday, or at least last night, I was doing a bit of thinking and we do have some priorities to get into the water, but we have priorities over other priorities. And I think a good priority is definitely the three holes because that is literally, I mean, you're not gonna dive down and put a through hole under the water line while it's in the water, if you see what I mean. I've been working a lot with the welding company next door. They've been taking care of a lot of things for us, including the first four chain plates that I had made earlier and now bent so I can install those. I also went shopping for the through holes the other day. I can't put them in the starboard head yet as we're still waiting for a black water tank to arrive but I can already st install them in the port head. I'm gonna try and get ideally all of that done today. However, there is a friend arriving between 2 and 3 uh, p.m. don't know, whatever you might arrive later, who has traveled around South America on a 200cc motorbike and he's making his way up to this shipyard today to then spend some time with us. I'm not gonna force him into working on the boat. If he feels like helping out, he can. I remember sending my brother Tom up the mast and he never came back. Sorry, Tom, I won't ever do that again. You're more than welcome to visit and just relax if you want. Without further ado, let's see what we can get done before now until he arrives because I'm pretty sure we're gonna open a few beers when he arrives. And uh, let's go and head down first to see how this corking is going. Just kidding. I meant this corking over here. He's making some more of these, what do you call them? Lots of little cotton threads. And you get to choose the size, the ones he made before, or the ones I actually made, sorry. We're slightly too thick, so he's just making some more. When he's finished, I'll head over and show you a bit of that. But this is the boat that is before us. So he will head into the water right before us. So let's check their progress quickly. Let's go and check out our Calafachi, is what you call it here, or our woody woodpecker.
There, I've just gone to get some more caulking cotton for meter and while I was there I got all the screws necessary to fasten the chain plates, the washers. I also got some longer screws for the bimini. Now what should I do now? I've got the chain plates to do. I can drill a through hole in the forward port head or I can just flip the bimini around. Bimini is not important but it's a very quick job so I think I'll get that over and done with and then that's not a worry anymore. Then I will work, chain plates is a very long job, so I'll do that next and I'll do the through holes after the B-mini. That's the plan for today. Shopping, there was a lady there selling some nice homemade biscuits as well, look at that. Couldn't complain, so I got some. It's 34 degrees right now, and I think now it's gonna start cooling down for the next 10 days, down to maybe like 25. Or am I being optimistic as in it's gonna be that cold? It's gonna cool down to, yeah, 26 and rain. So make the most of today, as in it helps all the Sika Flex cure dry, whatever, set very, very fast. We've managed to keep the brackets nice and shiny, which is nice, and these are officially done. Sorry, they're not officially done. You see how there's a little bit of thread sticking out still? I wanna get rid of that thread, but other than that, it's done. And we need to move these shrouds back. Okay, back over here in the least ready room of the boat, we have, uh, we have the plumbing ready. We don't have any through holes. Now, what do we need? We need the toilet over here. Let me go and get it very quickly to show you. There. Oh. Nothing broke. It's gonna go right over here. Now, what's missing is an inlet and an outlet seacock for the toilet. Now, we've looked up all the sizes of this one, all the electric ones, and so on. And we have bought the through holes for the seacocks for exactly these. We went for the biggest size possible, just in case we wanna upgrade the pump or whatever. So we've got a, I think, one and a half inch through hole over here which is slightly more aft than the inlet now you want them kind of as low under the waterline as possible but you don't want them in our case under the ballast or under any of the flooring or too deep under the flooring so we want to be able to access them still so i've kind of just drawn a circle it's all on the same plank i'm gonna have inlet and outlet fasten these in place put some elbow joints bringing them up to a vented siphon over here this one's the one for the inlet which is going to be fastened as high as possible i've got exactly the right cup saws for once which is quite nice one over here and this one over here so hopefully well, i say this is going to be easy but we've got a five centimeter thick hull so this is never really easy so i'll drill in outwards with just a drill bit and then i'll do the cup saw from the inside and then from the outside. We don't want to install the toilet yet. We don't want to place all the hosing. We just want to make sure that everything under the water line is done. And if we keep these valves shut and no one opens them while we're in the water, that would be a good idea. Then we can add the hoses and the uh, vented loops and so on afterwards. I feel sorry for this big one over here. I mean, this is the inlet, which raw water comes in, salt water. But I feel sorry for this one. Look how beautiful. Look at that nut, it's massive. I just feel sorry. I guess this guy didn't choose his own destiny. The seacocks are gonna be here. It's gonna be far enough from the water line. I mean, this boat isn't made to uh, tilt. What do you call it again? Heel. Heel. This boat isn't made to heel that much as it's more like a half wind downwind sailor. Um, 
And if we are healing this much, I am pretty sure no one's going to be sitting on the toilet and flushing. So either way, this is where it's going to be. This pipe over here, both of them. Anything under it is getting harder and harder to access and everything on top of it is just getting closer to the water line. So one, two, this one is far enough from the water line and easy to access. So I'm going to start drilling from inside out with just a drill bit and Peter, you tell me. It won't be any support, so it'll be good. You can tell me, well, of course it's going to be fine. Okay, how do you know this is the toilet? How do I know? Right here is the toilet. Stinks. No. That's how I know. <laughs> so you we're sticking that out the window. Yeah, out the window. So uh, that's about it. MP, just stay here. And I'll go in the shade, okay? Bye. It's not as thrilling and nerve-wracking as the first one but I'm still not 100% comfortable. So let's see how this goes. It's gonna be here. Hi. I'm gonna drill, okay? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. That first hole. Okay, I'm gonna drill with the Seja Copo now. Well, actually, I'll be the other one. Ready? Nice, how are those holes? The good thing about having a five centimeter thick hole that we feel very safe about hitting something if we're sailing but everything else is quite difficult like the cup top apparently it's not deep enough here so I believe the next step will be to drill it from here inwards because we heard all the noise but could we see anything no just the fact and now here the second hole I believe the same is gonna happen I know someone is gonna drill the rest not me you no yeah. No. Yeah. I don't dare. I'm gonna go and get the camera and you're gonna do it. No. Bye. No. A very cool thing that's happening today is that you see, the Aba is missing the anti fouling paint. We cannot go to the water like this, right? So today, the technicians. They're gonna explain to us which kind of products we should use and in which order exactly how it happened above the water line are coming so we can discuss all those details so we can do it properly because that's not a job that we want to mess with so we're going to talk to these guys figure out how to do it which products to get and then we're going to do it about to convince me to make the through hole on the hole and then I was saved by the technicians that came to talk about the bottom paint but now they're gone and I'm not saved anymore and I have to do this I have to find the courage to do this did I find it no will I do it anyway yes Let's go. <laughs> you remember which one was which well Inlet forwards, right? Yeah. Next. Five centimeters, y'all. Next one. Wait. Oh. 
the through hole comes with this, so you can have a little hole done, and then it's stuck there and it's not turning when we are making it tight. Cool, right? Yeah. Such a beautiful thing for such a nasty purpose. That one's not nasty. That one's nasty. Let's do the big one. Some people do say that this has to be slightly higher. However, have you seen a distance between both of these? I think there's a very, very, very small chance that whatever comes out of this one ends up in that one. No, I read in a manual. Sorry. Yeah. I just read in a sailing manual or six inches above or 12 inches apart. And it's way more than 12 inches. So we're good to go. Okay. But most important, what are, what are we prioritizing? Why do we choose this? Because we want the valves to be easily accessible when inside. That yep. was what we thought should be a priority and then this yeah. distance made both halves easy to get and it's far enough and so that one any water. lower would be under ballast which is going to be a pain yeah exactly so this one is water going in to flush the toilet and then whatever was in the toilet will come out here what was in the toilet i didn't want to say that. <laughs> I did a rookie mistake. My bad. I didn't. <laughs> so bad. Anyway, I'll fix that. Let's go again and I'll take more care this time. So the little saw bit got caught and I wasn't holding it straight. And I ended up bending the bit. Start nice and slow and you'll be fine. Pass me, uh, take the red thing off and pass me just the drill bit. Okay. Hot. Ow, 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 ow. Take the red thing off. Ah, you don't want the red thing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm coming up. It's too hot here. Thank you. Let's let that cure, and then we can install them. It shouldn't take long. Let's see who cures first, me or the epoxy. I'm gonna put you guys in the shade for a bit and I'll be back in about, what is it, in half an hour this will be done. I think I can already start working on some other stuff though. I have just put some epoxy resin inside the holes of the, what do you call them? The three holes, and I got interrupted by a friend. Actually, he's a friend of my brother's, Luik. He came all the way from well, but, uh, from Belgium. Yeah, Canary Islands with the sailboat to Guatemala, six months. And then in Guatemala, I bought a motorbike. And I came all the way down to Brazil, to the south of Brazil. See, this guy's <laughs> insane. Let me guess. So Guatemala, I don't know exactly what the countries are that you cross. So Guatemala? Guatemala, El Salvador, 
eh, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panamá, Costa, uh, Costa Rica, Panamá, eh, after Panamá, Colombia, Ecuador, Perú, Bolivia, Argentina, and now I'm in Brazil and happy to be here. Yeah, and I, uh, I think I mentioned it before, I won't be sending him up the mast because I'll scare him away like I did my brother. Actually, he's a friend of my brother's, that's what brought him here. And uh, tomorrow is my birthday. He thought today was tomorrow, like that's what happens when you travel around. <laughs> and he's got a 200cc motorbike that he's been doing all that with. So he thought today was Wednesday and he got me a present, so let's open it and see what it is. So my birthday is already starting. Ah, I have so many knives. Licor fino de pineapple liquor. That's going to go down well tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow we'll be at the boat, but we'll be drinking this. I don't know about after tomorrow. I might have to have a lie-in or something. Cheers. We've got a nice Cheers. beer for now. Have you look? I got an a licor de abacaxi. Wow. Thanks. Abacaxi. Abacaxi or abacaxi? Abacaxi. Abacaxi is avocado. <laughs> when you live in Brazil, you learn these things. Abacaxi is avocado and abacaxi, abacaxi is pineapple. It's anyway, the whatever, one of them is pineapple and one of them is avocado. <laughs> but Luik's here, so I think uh, he's had a very long drive, as you might have heard. So I'm going to call this a wrap. I did tell you guys that we are going to show exactly how a day goes. And I think it's good to let the epoxy cure. It's almost the end of the day anyway. The caulking down at the keel is almost finished. I think there's a quarter left, a corker left. And uh, what we're going to do now is take Luik home, give him a nice shower, get him a uh, put all his clothes in the wash because I assume and I'm not saying he's stinking I'm just saying he's been on the motorbike for a long time and I assume a nice shower <laughs> I know what it's like what are you everyone's laughing at me now and he knows it's true that's why oh uh, no I'm not gonna give him a shower <laughs> I'll give him a towel anyway I'm um, this is getting out of hand thank you so much for watching this episode don't forget tomorrow we're gonna come already post another episode showing exactly what we do and uh, we do have a lot to do I'm not always a slacker you know okay, see you guys tomorrow Ben's camera is over for today but that doesn't mean mine is Oli and I are gonna continue working here we are making the panel for the bilge pump controls because I'm really excited to install the bilge pumps in place but then the buttons will be in place already and now we were setting our flood alarm this is the one that was in Yaba Look at this though. I think now I know why we were sinking. <laughs> <laughs> we had no idea we were sinking. The flood alarm didn't work. Exactly. Otherwise we would if that worked, we might have never bought this boat. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway, MP, I hereby hand this over to you. Thank you. It will be an honor to show you how the day continues.
Caio, how hot is it today? Tell people. You don't want it, right? It's too hot to talk to the camera. I know. I understand. Now, you can see we got somewhere with this. This is next to our home. Here we have many, many switches that we still have to figure out what we're gonna do. This here is the windless switch. Here is the flood alarm, the funny one that we definitely need to get a new one. And here is, we had here a joystick for a bow thruster, but we never had the bow thruster. We are going to go to the water without it. And if we really feel that we miss having one, Next time we leave Piaba, we might do something about that, but to start with, we are not going. So, answering your questions, we're not having a bow thruster. I need to go get the cake, so I don't have time to do this now. So, tomorrow we will continue with this and continue playing around with being an electrician, bringing power to the boat, and I'm excited to do the bilge pumps. We are sure many steps closer to splashing, and with that, I will say bye and see you tomorrow. We really hope you're enjoying watching these episodes because we are really enjoying making them and sharing them with you. Thank you all that are following us. Thank you so much for joining and spending this time with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you and bye. See you tomorrow. Don't forget, same time, same place. Bye.